3D printers, gotta love them. Sometimes you gotta hate them. Uh, got really busy and got a lot of orders. I have 10 3D printers. I try to keep most of them running all the time. Yes, they all require maintenance. Uh, might be, you know, keeping the nozzle replaced. Uh, of course, you gotta keep the filament going and you gotta keep checking your uh, bed levels on most of them. Most of them might need to actually manually level the bed on. So, Here's what I came to this morning when I came out to check on everything that I'd started last night. So, King Rune KP3S Pro, PI bed, it's working as it should. Another King Rune KPS3, it finished like it should. Creality Ender 3 V2 with a big tree tech border controller, worked as finished as it should. Another Ender 3 V2. Pretty much stock, couple little modifications, finished as it should. Another Ender 3 V2, been modified somewhat, finished as it should. TiVo Torrench, or no, TiVo, TiVoop, Torrential Pro, finished as it should, but that was after a minor repair. So what you see sitting right here is a bearing. And that there are two of them on the back of the uh, y-axis tension adjustment, and it kept throwing the belt. And I couldn't figure out why until I uh, picked it up and took it out and found out that the center of one of the bearings had left and was basically all over the floor. And that was making the uh, belt just come off every time I put it back on and come off again till I uh, actually took it out there and took a look so that was a simple fix and it just happened I had some parts here to do it however one thing I did do you see here on the corner of my printer was when I was taking it off the rack I dropped it so now my knob right there is not too functional it does still work but not real well but I do have new part ordered and then I came to this this morning. This is my Kitty Xmart 3, and normally I have zero problems with it. I don't know what happened here. I have never had that happen before. So that's kind of a catastrophe there. That'll be a do-over. And of course, I have some that had broken down before, but I just not gotten around to fixing them. And here's a little tour of those three. And here is a now non-working Ender 3 V2. Uh, the it won't read the SD cards anymore. I need to. I don't think I'm going to replace it with a stock Creality board. I think I'll put a big tree tech in this one, and maybe put some dual axis rods on it. So there's one that's broken down completely. My big one here, the longer LK5. Well, it's broke down too. Uh, my problem there is the uh, connection where you put the SD card into the motherboard is kind of falling apart so it doesn't read the uh, it doesn't read the car consistently so therefore I have a motherboard coming for that one and one more broke down this is back here in the uh, in the back room where we have I run printers back here too also have lasers up here etc in this room this is a longer LK4X thermal runaway so I have a thermistor ordered for that so as you can see, stuff happens. Um, it, it doesn't matter what brand it is. I've got Creality and King Rune and Kitty and Longer and uh, TiVo. So yes, every one of them can have a problem. I have quite a few Ender 3 V2s. Uh, I know how to work on them. That's what I started out with. And I will say right off the bat, if, if you're going to get a Creality printer, you're pretty much going to be on your own. Hopefully everything out of the box will work out for you. If not, there's a lot of help on uh, YouTube and other, on Facebook and other places where you can go to get some assistance with it because Creality's customer service is absolutely horrible. With that said, I just ordered one of the new Creality V3, V2, V, no, V, Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. There we go. Got the whole name well, I just ordered one of those last night. It should be here next sometime next week. Got some new features on it. It's a very inexpensive printer. It's under 200 bucks. And 
I just want to see what they've done uh, beyond the, what they've pulled the Ender 3 V2s. I just say they're, they're workhorses. They're not fast. Uh, and once you fully understand them and know what their little quirks are and everything and what can break and what needs replacing and what needs upgrading, they're, they're pretty reliable printers. For the King Runes, I have no problems with those. They, for the most part, I probably shouldn't have said that and I want to break down. Uh, the Tarantula over here, as I showed you, had a little bearing go bad for the belt tension adjustment. Bearings go bad, it happens. Uh, and I, I mentioned I did drop it. Of course, that's on me, and I need to replace the front control board now. But to get that from TiVo was no problem. We went online, ordered it. No problem, it'll be here. Of course, it's coming from China, so it's probably going to take me a week or so to get it. However, it's still usable. The thermistor on the longer LK4X, uh, those go bad. I don't care what brand printer you got, it, that happens. The same with limit switches, they just go bad. So I, I keep a stock of that stuff. I just was out of the thermistors right now, so order one of those. Getting parts from longer is no problem. The uh, LK5 longer, I knew that the uh, SD card holder was starting to go bad because you had to and once you put the card in to get it to read the card, you had to stick a little piece of paper up underneath it. So I knew that was going bad, but that printer has had a tremendous amount of use. So I, I can't really complain about that. Went on Longer's website, ordered a new motherboard. That should be here in a few days, and I'll get that one back up and running. So it doesn't matter what brand printer you have. You're going to have a problem somewhere along the line. And the more printers you have, the more problems you're going to get. So this is just a little quick tour thing of uh, some of the anomalies that I have with these printers and I don't have any of them running in the, behind me right now. I need to unload them and get them restarted again. But again, just a little quick overview of what can happen and customer service wise, King Rune's great, TiVo's great, Longer's great. I have never had to contact Kitty. I do have to see why that print went wonky like it did. I may have to do a automatic level thing on that. It very, very simple to do. Uh, otherwise, again, Creality, they got some good products, but their customer service is just horrible. And you'll probably hear that from a lot of people. So anyway, if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Just again, just a little quick video covering all these printers. Thanks for watching. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. See you on the next one.